perfect. It's definitely an interesting getting to know you process. <laughs> 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 so with uh, with comedy, which you're doing now, I think a lot of people see comedians on there, but I've listened to podcasts by comedians since I was like 10 years old. So I feel like I, the industry is so complex. What was like for you the story behind getting into comedy and getting started? So, you know, growing up, I'd always wanted to be on SNL. Okay. That was my thing. I, you know, <clears throat> but I felt like where I'm from and this was my this was the way I thought back then. Not now, but back then I thought things like that don't happen to people like me, you know? Um, but now I know it can happen to anybody. So don't think that. Um, so I started on Vine 8 years ago and this was before like social media influencers. Yeah. There were a few big YouTubers, but like that was it. Like the whole internet comedian that was not a thing. Yeah. That was not a thing. And I hopped on Vine. I had three followers. Two were my sisters. Never thinking anything about it. Right. And I just did a couple, you know, a couple stupid videos. And they kind of took off. And I, you know, I remember when I hit a thousand followers. What, what was like big back then, like in terms of getting some views? Because now on TikTok, it's like 20K is that kind of. Oh, for me, honestly, anything. Like. Like when I hit a thousand followers, I remember sitting there refreshing my vine with my sisters. And when it went from nine 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 to a thousand, we started screaming. That was like I was like a thousand people yeah. follow me, you know. And so right around that time is when we moved to San Diego. Okay. And um, you from know, Oklahoma. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, from Dallas. Yeah. And then you know, I just kept it going. I just it, it was more for fun. I didn't make money because my comedy was super raunchy, yeah. and I didn't I wasn't able to monetize anything or. And I didn't care. I was like, whatever, you know. Were you doing Trailer Trash Tammy at yep. the time? Okay. Yep. So that's your, if, if our audience doesn't know, that's your other, that's your character. That's the character I do, Trailer Trash Tammy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I feel like um, I definitely could have scaled back the comedy and kept it clean and was able to make money. But I was like, I, that was defeats, that, yeah, it defeats the whole purpose of what I want to do. Yeah. So I was like, I don't care, you know. So I was working at Whole Foods. Okay. In the bakery. And um, LA Whole Foods is a different game. Yeah. Yeah. You get some crazy ass people there. Yeah. Um, and then I quit my nine to five. So I slowly over the, over those, you know, four or five years slowly gained. It was not overnight for me. Okay. Like I feel like on, on TikTok now you can have zero followers and post a video and have 200,000 followers the next day. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. A guy that came on our show got a million, he got a million in 18 hours. Oh yeah. my you know, God. You know, angry reactions. Like he does like the angry faces. Like, one year d'amelio yeah that's how yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. he's oh the guy that looks really angry but he's yes like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you looking beautiful today dude no, no 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 vine days it was not like that yeah there was no algorithm there was no, it was not like that so it took me five years to five or, it took me a while so um one day i was on my way to work and i thought i had, we had just bought our first house my husband and i okay and our our um mortgage had doubled what our rent was and it's really? expensive to live out here in California. Yeah. And I hadn't talked to him about it. And I was on my way to work and I thought, I'm going to put in my two weeks. <laughs> your mortgage had doubled. Too, yeah. Too. So your expenses had gone up at yeah. the same time. You, yeah. And I, I went in and I did. And I thought, oh my God, what have I done? You know? So I called him and I thought for sure he was going to be like, Chelsea, go get your, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, go get, and I called him and I was like, I, I just put in my two weeks. And he goes, good. Now you'll be able to, to do your dreams full time. Now you'll be able to do it full time. That's amazing. It all starts yeah. with a leap of faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and from that month, I started making money. You weren't making money on social media before that? A few hundred here how, and there. How many followers did you have on your platform? Um, I feel like I, I probably had a couple million on Facebook. Okay. Probably had a couple hundred thousand on Instagram. Um, and probably had a couple hundred thousand on YouTube. Okay, so that's actually a lot. A, yeah. a good, yeah, yeah. But for me, whenever I quit and was able to put all my energy into it, is when it is when it really popped off. Really, you mm -hmm. saw the growth go crazy. At yeah, that? yeah, 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 for sure. Because you lived that all day. Yeah, and then you know, I never intended on doing stand up yeah. ever. That was never a dream of mine. That was never a goal. And people would message me all the time, like, "You please do stand up. Please do stand up." I'm like, I, like. Yeah. I don't know. I can't do stand up, you know? Um, and so I had a friend of mine who now opens for me, start doing stand up. Really? If yeah. you guys don't open, means like being the open, like the first mic on mic. Yeah, on, yeah, right? yeah. Yep, exactly. Like she goes on and warms up the crowd for me, you know? Okay. And I thought, um, she started it. I go, you know what? If she can do it, I'm going to, I'm going to at least, I'm going to at least try. Yeah. I'm going to at least try. 
She was doing it first, but now she's opening for you. Yeah. You're headlining. Yeah. yeah. And it took me two years to to get on stage and get up the courage. And, and it took me two years to write a set. Yeah. That is what the hardest part was, writing a good set. Yeah. Like, you know? Like writing characters or like... Well, you have jokes, to like write right? jokes, right? Right, to write jokes. How long was it like was the set for? Like a 15... Like you could take this and perform it for like 15 minutes, 30 minutes? Uh, I got about a, I have about a 40 minute set. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Who, who were your inspirations at that time that you're looking at? Or is it like I'm fresh to comedy? How, how new were you to it, to that world? Um, to the stand-up world, very, 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 very new. Yeah. Yeah. Very new. But, um, you know, we were talking about Theo Vaughn. He's one of my, dude, I think he's such a genius. And, so funny. And he's so funny. Um, Josh Wolf. Yeah. You know, you got to look him up. Um, yeah. So I, the first time I ever did stand up was a little over a year ago. And um, I did stand up, sold out shows on my own. And then I had, since then, I've gotten um, agents and managers, and I'm about to go on tour, dude. Really? Straight up. Are you, okay, so wait, we got to get to that, but like when you went on your first tour, were you, were you only in, in the San Diego? Because I know there's an, uh, a comedy scene in San Diego. Yeah. Where no, we, we did shows in Dallas. Okay. In Dallas, in, in, uh, in Texas? Or? Yeah. Okay. Dallas, Texas. Um, we sold, I think I sold out six shows. You know, never doing stand up before, and that that's that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, I was like, holy crap! What if I, I've never done an open mic? I've never done nothing. Are you serious? Because it's like it's like from going from your phone where you can like yeah. retake, and then people are right there in front of you. I can't imagine. I'm I'm seeing like, uh, dude. The big difference is you have these people who do comedy and they just grind out doing like open sets as many times as possible. Exactly. You did have this thing where you had the followers to sell at the shows, right? But then immediately you have this pressure to actually do well. Right. So you can't fuck up like most people fuck up over and over and over. Right. Again. Right. From their open mind, exactly. Right. So that put even more pressure on me. Like, holy shit! Like this is you know, and so and I'm not like a conceited person. I'm not like oh I I I'm greater than I do, but I fucking nailed it. You did? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And so that for me was like, I was like, okay, let's do this. What kind of bits were you doing like on, on stage? So I go on as Trailer Tash Tammy. Okay. <clears throat> do you wear like the like the crop top, t- not the crop, the fuck, uh, what is it? That's the sleeves are cut off? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The wolf shirt. The wolf shirt. Yeah, yep. Nothing like a good wolf shirt. Oh, yeah. Wolf tanks are even better. Yeah. Like, I mean, because like a wolf shirt kind of gets the point across, but wolf tanks. You got to really... cut those sleeves. You got to get the. Yeah. Better. And it's like, and it's all about where you cut it, right? Because like, <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm serious. Like yeah. it's, I mean, it's yeah. like it's it's like kind of like a redneck Bible. Mm-hmm. It's almost something like the you know. So if you cut it right at the sleeves, yep. that's like ultimate redneck. Exactly. Because it really? kind of keeps the shoulders protected from the sun. <laughs> there's a, a little lot shoulder of, pad. Yeah. There's, but it also it so much ventilation into exactly. everything that needs to be vented. How would you describe that that character? Because that's who I first found was wasn't Chelsea Lynn. It was Trailer Trash mm-hmm. Tammy. Then over time, I was like, oh, her name's Chelsea Lynn. This is her real account. Yeah. Right. And a lot of people don't know it's a character, which is great. I love it. <laughs> I love it when they find out it's not a character because I, I was fully a victim. I was I was a victim of that. Same. I was like I was like looking it up like a, cu- a couple weeks ago and I saw it and I was like she and, comes in with and, a cigarette and a Bud yeah. Light. No, I was I, I was fully prepared for that. I was yeah. like, yo, I guess it's Sig's inside today. Like I guess yeah. that's what's going on. But yeah, yeah. Which I mean, she's believable, so that's great. That's great for me. Um, Tammy is crazy. Tammy is. Um, a man eater, dude. She thinks she can get any man. She thinks that every single man on earth wants her, yeah. which is hilarious because she's not, um, she's not conventionally pretty. You know, she wears big baggy, big man. You know, like the shorts and the hair slicked back, and she's kind of mean and she's got the man. You know, but she can get any piece of dick she wants. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and people just love that confidence. And I think that's why they love Tammy so much. Um, she's kind of rude, but yet lovable. And it's like, how? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> so it's, it's like Tammy yeah. would do everything that people would think to do, but not do. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. There's that's a, awesome. Tammy, like as a character, is like a different, it's just like saying the most, anything you want, it comes across so funny. Because you see there's some kind of a real person in there, but yeah. it's like an exaggerated, like crazy, crazy yeah. version of it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, she's definitely a character, but I think it's so believable because um, she's me, yeah. you know, in a way, in a way, she's part, she's part of me. So it's just weird how it all worked out. Yeah. So, well, I, and like, we didn't, we didn't grow up in it. We grew up in like a pretty like suburban area. So like, we don't really have like too much like yeah. Tammy like, yeah. where, like where we are Tammy's but, yeah right we're all more Karens yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. I see what, yeah yeah so like I have like I have like a cabin place which is like you know it's a, there's a there's definitely more Tammy's around that yeah. area so like it's a little bit more like 
you know, like I could actually see this being like a, yeah. like, I could see this being like a very like real thing. So it's, well, I can, you know, and I think that's why I have such a wide variety of fans because, you know, you don't have to be from the South to enjoy that humor. Yeah. You know, I'm selling out shows up North, dude, people, pe- everybody, if you don't know a Tammy, you, you, you just love the, you know, the humor of how ridiculous yeah. the character is. You know, so it's yeah. awesome. 